Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's going to be a hair video that has been requested by you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me, how do you put rice water on your hair when you're wearing wigs? Guys, it is super easy. My hair is in a blow-dried state right now. I've just been putting Bantu knots in. As you guys know, this is day five of my new rice water journey. So all I pretty much do is section my hair off and then I'll spray the rice water into my roots, massage it in, do my inversion method, all of that. So I'm just gonna show you an example of how I put it in my hair and then put my wig on. Alrighty guys, so I like to begin by sectioning my hair off into four sections. And this really helps get the precision you need to get it directly onto your scalp and then massage it into other areas of your scalp. I, I love to do four sections specifically just because it's easier than to have all of your hair out and then just separate it randomly. As I said, it helps with the accuracy. So after I section off that one, I'm gonna begin with the chunk you see there. And this is just the easiest way to do it. I prefer this way than having my hair in braids just because I feel like I get more surface area. With the braids, you can't really massage it in beneath them because they're laid so tightly. So this is just way more beneficial. So then I just go ahead and I spray in there and then I just take the palm of my fingers and just massage it in. And if I feel like I've missed any areas, I always just go back in at the end and get like my nape area as well as my edges. And this is very, very simple. You wanna get all the parts of your scalp and just massage it in as you go. From here, you can begin to apply the rice water to your tips and go back and get those areas like your nape, your roots, I'm sorry, not your roots, your edges, and all those sorts of things. At this point, I like to put my hair into a ponytail or a low bun so that I can start to oil my scalp. This makes it a lot easier for me because it helps keep my hair flat when I do it this way. If I was to have my hair out and try to oil my scalp, it would just get a bit messy and tangled. So I use my black Jamaican castor oil um, with Mang Lang oil to place on top of the rice water when I'm soothing my scalp and it feels so good and it isn't too thick. So it's really good. And another thing is like Jamaican black castor oil is great for helping with strengthening and making hair grow. So it just adds those benefits. Okay guys, so after you finish applying the rice water, your hair is gonna feel just fine. This helps so much with the itching. I'm on day five and I've experienced a little bit of itching, but it's not bothering me because to me it's like, okay, it's working, I'm just gonna oil my scalp and then it just goes away. It's not anything intense, it just feels like, th that kind of always happens. Like if I were to spray something on my roots, 
or we get like a little bit of tingling or something like that so uh, I used to use a peppermint oil and that worked so well but I just ran out so I've been really loving this oil and that's what I use to cope with that um, that itchiness and, and that sensation so after this um, you have the opportunity to either wear your hair just out naturally like this or you can put a wig on so I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to just put your wig on after after this your hair is gonna be fine because you're it's moisturized you know you have it protected in a bun you have oil on your scalp on top of the rice water so it feels perfect and if you were to use like a cooling oil like peppermint oil or eucalyptus something that's a little more intense your scalp would feel amazing so this is another um, wig cap that I have if you wanted to use something like this it's a little more breathable you can do that but I usually just use my regular um, stocking cap like my, my pantyhose textured kind so I just put my wig cap on like this and another thing is this is black castor oil guys so using this on your roots on your on your roots on your scalp and on your edges is going to help your hair grow even more because black castor oil is known to thicken hair to help with hair growth all of those things so putting this on your ends as well as your roots and your scalp is very beneficial so that's something that i've been doing every single day and this one isn't extremely thick and then the smell is not unbearable at all it has like this light banana fragrance to it so it smells really good and that's because of the Ling Ling oil that's inside of it. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how I put the wig on and how everything's gonna look with the wig. Okay guys, so this is the wig. This is the Eunice hair, Eunice hair. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna say Eunice. This is their hair and it's the deep body wave. So the reason it has these curls in it is because I put them in it um, on my last video. So now I'm just going to put the wig on. Okay guys, so this is the wig on, and this is just a half wig that I made using Ivy's flip over method. So it's not um, gonna be glued down to my head or anything, anything like that. So if you have a wig on that you can't remove, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. You wanna have access to your scalp in order for you to moisturize it, in order for you to massage it, all those kinds of things. So I definitely recommend wearing quick weaves or um, even synthetic wigs. I, that's how I started. Before I started using any real human hair wigs before any of those were being sent to me. I was using Altre wigs. I was going to the beauty supply store and just getting regular um, synthetic wigs and I'd wear them for a few weeks, buy a new one. They're only like $12. So if you wanna keep your hair protected, I definitely recommend using synthetic wigs or just using wigs you can take on and off, not ones that are gonna be glued down to your head. So this makes it really simple. Your hair is underneath the, um, the wig cap and it's protected. So now, um, I'm just gonna comb. Oops, I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> now I'm just gonna comb this out. This hair is so beautiful. Ah, see, I love the body that it's giving me. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my headband on. Sometimes I feel like the headband kind of ruins it because it looks so nice and then the headband's like, oh yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. And yep, that's how it looks. So yeah, guys, this is extremely simple. So don't hesitate to use a rice water if you're somebody who's constantly wearing wigs or you know, you're not used to doing your hair this kind of way, dealing with your hair every single day. It's extremely easy. Anyone can do it. I only um, make the rice water to, instead of doing it every single day, how I used to make a new batch every day, I only make a batch um, once every week. So you have it there, you just leave it in the, in the kitchen, in the fridge, and just take it out whenever you need to use it, and that's it. I mean, it's extremely easy. We're gonna have long hair together. My goal is to honestly, 
have my hair like this, this thick, this long, again, but like the healthy way. I cannot wait to have like healthy, long, luscious hair. One of my, um, my favorite YouTubers, my favorite hair YouTubers is Natural85. I'm sure all of you guys love her too. And her hair, oh my goodness, she just put a video out the other day. Her hair is like super thick, like super long. It's just amazing. I cannot wait to get there. And um, I appreciate all of you guys so much, especially the ones who have been here from the beginning. And then even when I wasn't doing the rice water videos, you guys were still around. And even the ones that have just come now, you guys are awesome. So thank you so much for your support. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.